So for about 18 months of my life in the early 1990s, we had radio transmitters attached to mountain brush tail possums and lead beater's possum in this forest. And what we were doing every morning was tracking animals to their den sites or their nest trees, like the, the huge elephant tree behind us. And so for morning after morning after morning, we would track these animals to where they had decided to spend the day shacked up in a big tree. And what we discovered was in this area of about 25 hectares, the 20 different animals that had radio transmitters fitted to them had used 113 different large hollow bearing trees. So what we discovered over time was that there was an incredibly complex biology of how these animals were using these critical big trees. From night to night, they would move regularly from one tree to the next to the next. And it turned out to be a way to, to avoid being chomped up by an owl. So there's this arms race between possums that are trying to survive and owls that are trying to eat possums to make a living. So what we discovered was that different species of possums were using different kinds of trees. The same species of possum was changing the kind of tree that it used at different times of the year, sometimes living trees, sometimes dead trees. And the only way that you can fit all eight species of possums and gliders together in the one broad area was to have a large number of these big trees and different kinds of these big trees so that they could partition this nesting resource. So that's one of the critical reasons why we need areas of old growth forest with lots of these big old trees to provide the critical nesting resources for all these wonderful animals. Without these big trees, these animals don't survive, then the forest is not a complete functioning ecosystem. That's why we need big trees, old growth forest, and we need the Great Forest National Park to protect these absolutely critical structures in these magnificent forests.